na mtazamaji nizidi kukuarifu mengi zaidi katika juhudi za kuboresha usalama barabarani mamlaka ya kitaifa ya uchukuzi na usalama NTSA imesitiza haja kubwa ya mipango iliyoratibiwa ya usalama barabarani inayohusisha serikali ya kitaifa na zile za kaunti akizungumza wakati wa mkutano uliowaleta wadau wa sekta mbalimbali hapa jijini Nairobi mapema hii leo katibu mkuu katika idara ya uchukuzi Mohamed Dagar amesema kuna haja ya kuwashirikisha wadau wote muhimu ili kupunguza zaidi ya vifo elfu ine vinavyoripotiwa kila mwaka ambavyo vimesababisha wajane na mayatima kuongezeka naibu mkurugenzi wa idara ya usalama barabarani NTSA Duncan Kibongong amesema kamati ya mashirika na sekta mbalimbali itatoa mwelekeo wa mikakati ya kitaifa ya utekelezaji wa sera za usalama barabarani humu nchini mpango wa kitaifa wa usalama barabarani wa mwaka 2023 hadi mwaka wa 2027 unalenga kufikia angalau asilimia msini ya kupunguza vifo na majeraha makubwa katika maeneo husika government we are going to work in a multi agency uh, approach together with the ministry of interior and national uh, administration which are key stakeholders in enforcement of some of the issues related to road safety but also uh, the public uh, transportation system in Kenya is uh, private led uh, we are going to work hand in hand with the private sector in implementing this road safety action plan now in the world bank we have made road safety a sort of mandatory requirement in all our projects that we support and sort of a corporate responsibility. Road safety is something, is a shared responsibility. It's not only NTSA are going to do this work on matters of road safety because it spans different other sectors, uh, including education, including the enforcement from the police, the engineering, and that's why we have a number of road agencies inside here. The county governments are also right here. Na tukiangazia sekta elimu katika juhudi za kukumbatia na kukumbatia.